let's take a quick look at some of the user visible changes present in the second alpha of Ubuntu 12.04. There are a handful of new options present in the user interface settings pane. These include a slider for adjusting the size of icons on the Unity launcher, a handy resets to defaults button, a wider layout for wallpapers, an on off button for hiding the launcher, and the option to choose which part of the screen you poke in order to unhide it. The Ubuntu Software Center has picked up some much needed speed. It now launches in around 5 seconds, which is a vast improvement on the loading time in Ubuntu 11.10. Jumping to a specific lens is now easier, thanks to the addition of a lenses quicklist to the Ubuntu button. The home folder item also benefits from some quick list attention. As well as listing common default folders like music and pictures, it also dynamically updates itself to display folders you bookmark yourself. The decision to hide application menus by default in 11.10 irked some users. To remedy this in 12.04, application menus remain visible for a short time before fading away, giving new users enough time to notice where the menu is. There's a neat way to force quit misbehaving apps in Precise. Just drag the item from the launcher to the trash can. The Ubuntu login screen has become a tad bit more personal in Precise. The background of the login screen is set to that of the wallpaper of the account selected in the Unity Greeter. Overall, Ubuntu 12.04 Alpha 2 doesn't actually feel like an alpha. It's unnervingly stable, there are very few application crashes, and Unity glides along with impressive speed like a hot knife through butter. And this is all thanks to the new quality initiatives introduced to the Ubuntu 12.04 development cycle. Packages like Unity are thoroughly tested for bugs before they're pushed to Ubuntu itself. And this approach is working. It's really putting precise into the precise pangolin. <laughs>